today from sold out Heinz Field. One of the biggest games of the year in college football. Number five, Cincinnati and 15th ranked Pittsburgh for the Big East title. Cincinnati is 6-0 in conference play. They've already clinched at least a share of the Big East regular season title. But Brian Kelly says we're not playing to be co-champions. Pittsburgh is playing for that today and the winner of this game with a Big East automatic bid to a BCS Bowl game. Well, here's Bill Stull, one of 18 seniors playing in their final home game here at Heinz Field. And for these seniors, the biggest game of their careers. Right away to Deion Lewis, showing some of that ability that reminds Matt of Barry Sanders. Derek Wolf, number 95, just a freshman. He's pretty active. State wrestling champ. You know I love those guys. Third and three. Stull went out of the shotgun. Has a man in the flat. It's Lewis for him. Another third down. Third down and one. And it's Lewis. And he is short of the first down. Lewis has handled the ball on every play of this opening possession. Six runs and a pass reception. On fourth and one. First big play of this title game. Lewis has the first down. Barry Sanders. I think he's do not the best. those comparisons around lightly. I think he's the best runner ever. And here comes Lewis for 10 more near enough. Plays and said, <laughs> right. give him a scholarship. 12th play of the drive. Lewis again, touchdown. Very well. Sits down in the holes of the zones very, very well. They'll go quickly, as is their custom. Brian Kelly calls the plays. He wants a quick pace. Here's Isaiah Peed showing his maneuverability down the far sideline. They average only about 26 minutes a game, time of possession, but that doesn't matter. Pike the play action fake. Armand Bins down at the six yard line, and he's important as their middle linebacker. Second and goal. Ramsey to the other side, touchdown. Seventeen yards after contact. Bobby Diaco, the defensive coordinator for Cincinnati, said he has uncommon contact balance. And it's good. Coaches say he is similar talent to Lewis. That's scary. Out in the flat, it's caught. Deion Lewis. Wilkerson runs a sub 4 4 40 at 230 pounds. The players we talked to yesterday insisted he's the fastest man on the team. Stull throws on time, caught. Jonathan Baldwin very near the first down. Expect Lewis following Hynoski. On fourth down and very short. Lewis follows the fullback first down. Can score quickly. Still look at the end of the first and all the unbalance of the number with the time of possession. Stull going deep to the end zone on third and four. It's caught, but incomplete out of bounds. Jonathan Baldwin. Battle works on him. There it is. That yeah, is touchdown. That's, touchdown. that's six points. And I would think that they would review that. Left foot down. Looked like he had the ball. Further review. It was determined that the receiver's left foot came down inbounds. They had possession. Touchdown. It's an elbow. He's got one small protective pad on it right now, guys. He was a Heisman Trophy candidate before he went out for nearly four games. Good throw and a catch. Armand Benz. This is this is what they do really well. This is fun to watch. Pike. He has great escapability at 6-6. And now he has Gilliard in space. And a good tackle in the openers. And if you could add three more games of stats, he'd be right there among the leading Heisman candidates. Empty backfield. They send four wide receivers out, and the pass intended for Gilliard is broken up by Jared Holly. And there's a flag down. It was actually intended for DJ Woods. Dom DeSico, the safety, doesn't like the call. After the play, personal foul, defense, high hit, at the distance of the goal, automatic, first down. Watch DeSico, number 31, there in your screen. He'll come in, and they're saying that he went too high on the hit. Holly, perfect position. It's helmet to helmet. And that is a major point of emphasis this year. There's no yeah. doubt about that call. Yeah, the teams are cool. by a touchdown. Third and goal, Cincinnati looking for the tying score. They're at the two-yard line. Keep your eye on Isaiah P. 
Right there. Pike throws a quick pass, batted up in the air, and incomplete. <laughs> a good play and a great play is the interception, and Gruder had an opportunity for a great one. Jake Rogers picks a 20-yard field goal from a tough angle. 5-8, you can get to three-quarter, but those, they're usually a little too uncomfortable, so you stick with the 5-8 with stuff like this. Play action pass for Stahl, has a receiver, and a first down to the Cincinnati 40. Mike. The run to set up the play action pass. Only 10 catches for Shanahan. He was injured at the beginning of the year. Flea flicker, Stahl going deep, looking for ball, win! Touchdown! It's Romeus 91 and sheared on the other side. Three-man rush. And it is a passive rush, and Pike throws on the run! Intercepted! Dom DeSico! That's his right. And then they actually do bring down the fourth. It looks like it's Gruder who gets a little pressure. And watch DeSico. Just runs right through the receiver. And that's Galuli. Or it even hold on to the ball at the end of the game. Who knows where that thing goes? Big third down and two. Lewis breaks tackles. Ball came out. And it went out of bounds. Way there. These are two of the best teams in the country in terms of fewest turnovers. Lewis with plenty of lead blockers. Stull seven out of eight passing. He hands it off to Lewis. And on third, Cincinnati's he's averaging over 39 points per game. Sixth in the country. Hutchins, with Pittsburgh's best marks in Big East Conference play as a field goal kicker for the 18 makes and 23 tries. And he is right down the middle from 33. Of East Carolina, 14-13. All right, Matt, thank you. Here it's 24-10 Pittsburgh. Big third down. Pike the pump fake, and he can run. Needs the 29 and has it. Yard. Third down and 10. They've been a great third down team all year, averaging over eight yards for third down play. Best in the nation. And that's an incomplete pass. And on the inside, that's, that's fantastic. Bell had his hands on. Oh, Benz, blocked. it's blocked. The punt is blocked. Rodgers buried at the three. Take a good look at him. Watch Nix. And you saw Brian Kelly on the side say, hey, that's one guy. He ran right through the shield. Ran right through the up back. Got his hand up. Actually, that's a low trajectory off that kick. But Nix gets his hand up and puts the Panthers on the five yard. They're going to take away Deion Lewis with everything. They had been playing with two safeties deep. And obviously they're down inside the five and they're stacking the deck. Third and goal. Will it be more power football? No. Play action pass by Stahl. Pump fake. Runs for the pylon. Touchdown. First team. Even through the summer, he still wasn't clearly number one. They went with him because he was good, not great in the preseason. But once the year began, he has been terrific. And his touchdown run has given him a 21-point lead. Luke Briggs kickoff. Here comes Marty Gilliard. Free at last. Here's the angle. They have the angle, and that's their only chance of getting him, and they will not. Touchdown, Marty Gilliard. Second kickoff return for a score in as many weeks. This one, 99 yards. Cincinnati had had only seven turnovers all season, fewest in the nation. Pike's thrown two interceptions. Stahl comes out swinging, and he's intercepted. Here come the Bearcats the other way. Aaron Webster's had a terrific first half. He needs to revert back to Tony Pike form. 31-yard return. Pike under duress. Escapes. No timeouts for Cincinnati. Throws it up. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Legs tangle and no flag. Pike's two for his last 12 with two interceptions. Throws short. 
D.J. Woods trying to get to the boundary and does. Be a very long field goal from here, about 55 yards, and Brian Kelly said particularly going in this direction, the open end along the river, it's infamous for kickers, both college and pro levels. They might take a shot of the end zone here. Pike, sideline. Throws it too high, three seconds left. A career long of 55, this would match it. As long this season as 45. And that one has no shot. Off to the right to end the half. Pilar's played so well, but Ryan Kelly said Pike is their number one quarterback and for most of the year he's been one of the best in the country. Throwing a deep ball and it's incomplete. Intended for Armand Ben. Completed 80% of his passes through for 309 yards and three touchdowns. Been a different story today. Cincinnati only two out of eight on third down. And that number's going to get better on a nice catch. He is opening Cincinnati up to other big time recruits. They're starting to consider his program more often. Pike surrounded and stumbles down. And this is not the kind of pace Cincinnati wants. They'd like to get it back into an up-tempo game when they're on offense. Deep ball, Gilliard's open. Touchdown. Forget about it. Marty Gilliard, another long score, 68 yards. Cincinnati within a touchdown. You know, third and five or third and eight and, and third and four, really not that big a difference. Yeah. Second and eight now instead of probably third and about four, as you said. Pike steps into a throw, has his man. First down, Armand Benz. Great right now, and they're playing the way they're supposed to play. The big play offense. They have a higher percentage of plays of 15 yards or more than any team in the nation. And going for another big one, not this time. Intercepted. 21, now it's a seven-point game. We welcome you back to college football presented by Kay Jewelers. Pittsburgh did not score in the third quarter. They're scoring their first five possessions. Bill Stahl going deep. First play of the fourth quarter, and it's intercepted. Dominique Battle picks it off for Cincinnati. Third down and 10. Pike design roll. Waving receivers. Throws it away. Bill Bennett has to be so pleased with the way his defense is played. Pittsburgh blocked the punt. This one's a line drive shot off the foot of Jake Rogers. That's returnable. Aaron Smith has blockers. And brings it all the way back near the 30-yard line. Just a neat kid. Adam Gunn, the linebacker, said he's the most mature freshman we've had in this program. Six away from the single-game record for carries. First down. Lewis weaves his way to the 15-yard. Great players here at Pittsburgh, and that's one of the things the coaches sell. The great tradition here. Lewis, touchdown! Put the banner up for D. the lead and win it it will be 12 26 to go as Dan Hutchins kicks off short and down to Darren Williams and look at him go actually it's Gilliard who returns it and took an angle and set up this third down it's a nice play and a big one it is you wonder if they're in four down territory down by two touchdowns a long way to go Moot point. It's a first down. Red zone quarterback in the country this season. Locked up both sides. Tony Pike, one of the best red zone defenses in the country. On defense in Pittsburgh, and Pike wins the battle. Touchdown, D.J. Woods. Very important extra point from Jake Rogers. Make it a seven-point game, and it hits the upright. No good. They have great high school football. Pittsburgh's a place for football. You want to be there. Yeah. Frank Sigmetti, the offensive coordinator, says it's the best football city in America. High school, college, pro, they love it all. Stall is sacked. Back at the 16-yard line. This new field has held up pretty well. Recently resodded. Pike throws, has his man. First down into Pittsburgh territory, and then a hit out of bounds. D.J. Woods caught it. And then Jared Holly with the late hit. To the play. Personal foul. Defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. They're trying to make it look like you're going to keep your safeties deep. But what they're doing, they're just going to take this guy, they're going to run him out of here. And then Holly is locked up on him. 
and he's going to try to take away the inside because there's nobody in the middle of the field. Well, you give up the out all day long. Well, the crowd just saw a replay. They didn't think this was a late hit, but it was. It was a hit. Late one. Good call. 14 yard pass play, 15 yard penalty, 29 in all. They're at the 31 yard line. Eight points away from a tie with eight minutes to go. Little shovel pass inside to Ben Gadouli, the tight end. Start to feel it too, because here they come. Cincinnati's won 17 straight regular season games. Gilliard first down. Be giving that away. Now they're walking up a little bit. And Pike has found the range. Five completions in a row. Four man rush. Single coverage. It is caught at the goal line, but not into the end zone for Armand Benz. Devontae Chappelle kept him out. And this is the safety, Holly, to be able to get, uh, take that out throw. And here is Zach Polaris in. Looked like he juggled the handoff, kept it, and he did not get in. He did give it to Pete, who found the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats. A two-point conversion away from a tie game with 5.46 to go. Seven. They got to take this slot receiver. Nobody's on him. First two-point try of the year. Walk up on him. Pike throws back of the end zone, caught. And it's that man again, Marty Gilliard. Of the, of, this, uh, of the field, and it's six. And Lewis is stopped. You say, okay, you're not going to beat us with Deion Lewis. Stowe, you beat us. And it is Stowe. Back to throw. Zips one. Caught. Nice move after the catch by Baldwin, and he's very close to the first down. Always had a smile on his face, always a kind word for anybody. Deion Lewis. Another first down, and there's a flag down back near the line of scrimmage. And right in the middle Hurtful of the line. Foul. Defense on the 54. Hands to the face, 15 yard penalty. First down. That's going to move him down to field goal range. Yeah, he's working on Hynoski, and you see, it wasn't, he just took his helmet off. <laughs> he, just, he got up. You can go to the throat. They won't call that. Once you get up into the face, they're going to flag that every time. Meanwhile, it was the 43rd carry of the day for Deion Lewis breaking Ironhead Hayward's single game Pittsburgh record. Another run blitz. And a bounce to the outside, and another flag as they take down Lewis by the face mask. Ricardo Matthews didn't mean to, but he did. That's a tough call. I mean, I every time I see that from defenders, that you're grabbing for anything, especially against a back like this who can shake you. And Ricardo Matthews, he's hey, he's played a good game. He just got his hand in the wrong spot. There's no flag on the play oh. for a face mask. Second down. Well, he didn't mean to, and apparently he did not yeah. after the officials conferred. They originally deemed that he did. They threw the flag. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they were, they'd be, it came across his face. They picked it up. It'll be a long field goal from here on a slick field. Third down and nine. Stahl steps into a throw and has his man. First down, Jonathan Baldwin fighting for every inch. In yards passing for his career today. Sixth all time at a school with some terrific quarterbacks throughout its history. Back to Lewis. Turning the corner. And out of bounds. Six. He shattered the record from the late Ironhead Hayward. Four carries more than his record back in 1987. On second down. Lewis again. Touchdown! Line. Watching a lot of his records get shattered. Trouble on the extra point. Andrew Ginoco, the holder, picks it up, but he won't get there. Plenty of time. Two timeouts. They stop the clock on first down just all kinds of time. He has 230 yards of returns. Will he have a chance to do it again? Yes, he will. 
Marty Gilliard. Oh, he slipped. Bounced off a couple of hits, and then as he went to make a move at the 37, he slipped. Cincinnati, 61 yards away. Pike, under duress, throws it to the far sideline. Caught in the show. And one of the best play callers in the country dialing up the call. Four-man rush again. Pike over the middle, caught again. First down to the 44-yard line of Pittsburgh. D.J. Woods tackled by Aaron Berry. 102 to go. 15 yards. He's going to go with a three-man rush and get coverage. Pike has him right where he wants him. Tight formation. All the receivers in close. Pike has some running room. Still behind the line, lofts it over the middle, caught! First down, 28-yard line. Five receivers spread the formation for Cincinnati. Man-to-man -man down here with Bins, again with Chappelle. It's been something he's liked all day, a whole lot of field to work with. Cincinnati, 28 yards and an extra point away from taking the lead. To the end zone, it goes! Caught! Touchdown! Flag down, line of scrimmage. Offside, defense, on the 91. Pounds the climb, touchdown. Greg Romeus was offside, and they can continue to party in the Cincinnati section. And now, the extra point to give them the lead. And bear in mind that on their last try, kicking an extra point, they had trouble. Zach Polaris, the holder, fiddled with the ball around his knee. It is good! Jake Rogers gives Cincinnati a one-point lead, still 33 seconds to go. They're now 33 seconds away from an outright Big East championship. Good kick by Rogers. Ray Graham's going to run it out. And he's out of bounds at the 19-yard line. They and Andrew Janoko, the holder, couldn't get it down for Dan Hutchins. He's hoping to have a chance to win it with a field goal, but they have a long way to go and little time to do it. That should not, as a kick, should not have been run out. Not only did they not get the 20, but they took off 11 seconds. So now it's Stahl with a long time to throw, but nowhere to throw it. Deflected pass incomplete. 45 yards to go. What a performance by Gilliard. You can see the emotion on his face, hoping the defense can cement it. Stahl down the seam, almost intercepted. 19 seconds to go. Pittsburgh once led by 21 points. 31 to 10. That kickoff return by Gilliard turned it around. Jump ball for Baldwin. Incomplete. Cincinnati's already clinched a share of its second straight Big East championship. And the holder, Janoko, is just about inconsolable on the sideline. Fourth down and 10. 10 seconds to go. Pittsburgh is at its own 18 yard line. Stahl. The ball is out. And he's down back at the 10 yard line. Dorian Davis and Curtis Young. Dan Giordano also in on the play, and they're three seconds away. No flags on the play. Three straight incompletions and a sack for that Cincinnati defense. And Cincinnati has won back-to-back -back outright conference champions for the first time since 1951 and 1952 when they won the Mid-American Athletic Conference. Gilliard 374 total yards and Pike hit his last 11 passes and the Cincinnati defense was superb.